What's up, Ant City, and welcome to the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge. If you haven't seen this before, or you just needed a refresher, then allow me to explain the rules. So rule number one is that you're only allowed to play as one character at a time. So to give an example of that, let's just jump straight to rule number two, is that you have to start with Tanjiro. So Tanjiro, the very first Tanjiro, is the character you have to start with. So back to rule number one with the one character at a time thing. So let's say you have Tanjiro and Nezuko on your team, because you obviously have to pick two characters. You're allowed to assist with Nezuko, but you can't switch into her, and I'll explain why right now with rule number three, which is that all characters only have two lives. Now, these lives are going to be counted by the rounds, not individual matches, but actual rounds within the matches. So these are permanent lives, too. So it's not like you get two lives per match. It's two lives across the board. So let's say you're playing as Tanjiro and then you lose two rounds. You have to then switch into your next character, which for this example is Nezuko. But your second character can be whoever you want it to be. You just have to start with Tanjiro. That just gives everyone like a, a common starting point, you know, but your second character can be whoever. And rule number four is that after both of the lives are used on your character, you can no longer use that character. So for this example, it was Tanjiro, but this goes for every character for the whole challenge. If you lose both your lives, that character is out. Rule number five is that the Academy characters do not actually count as separate characters because they basically are the same as the normal characters. Like Academy Tanjiro and normal Tanjiro have the same moveset basically, so they don't count as separate characters. Now as a bonus rule, if you end up not losing any rounds for six matches, so six total matches, not rounds, but six individual matches, then you have to move on to the next character just because I want this challenge to actually have an ending point because technically you could just win forever with Tanjiro and then this challenge would go on forever. So we're capping it out at six matches per character. So once you hit six matches, you move on to the next character. But yeah, that's it for the rules. So without further ado, make sure you like and subscribe and then let's get right into the video. all right so we're back in here with episode was a seven eight i don't know but we're back with another episode of the demon slayer nuzlocke challenge and today i am becoming a part of the problem because we're playing as akaza because if, if you haven't heard me say it in the last few videos i've been running into a lot of akazas online lately for like whatever reason and now today we are using akaza ourselves so like i said we're becoming part of the problem but <laughs> um yeah, but let's just see how I could do. Akaza is probably my favorite demon to play. Uh, it looks like we might get a little, a little cooked by this by this <laughs> Zenitsu. Can I survive? I barely survived. Well, you know what that means. No, I'm dead. <laughs> Don't worry, we do have two lives. But, I mean, geez, we might lose them really, really quick. Oh, my gosh. They're not, they're not supposed to go that quick. Oh, geez. But, um... Yeah, so we got. Um, hello, where did he, where did he go? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll meet you guys back when he starts moving again. Oh, okay. Uh, he he is here. <laughs> okay, that, that was weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we are back in here at the Nuzlocke Challenge. Like I was saying though, um, I uh, what was I saying? Um, I literally forgot what I was saying. <laughs> oh no. Okay, at least it's a red combo, so we can't do too much here. You can do a little bit. Oh, I could have got him. Okay, well, now we got him. All right, let's see if I remember anything, like, Akaza combo-wise. Let's do this. Never mind. Oh, wait, I forgot about I forgot about my domain expansion. Hold on. Oh, no, I was saying, yeah, Akaza's probably my favorite demon to play. Um, out of all of them, it's probably him and, like, Enmu. I'm not that confident with the other ones quite yet. I didn't mean to do that. No, I did that way too early. I, didn't, I, wasn't, I did not realize what the range was. There you go. There we go, Akaza. All right, dash to him, please. Oh my god. I somehow picked that back up. It's fine. Dash. Okay. I almost did not dash, which could have been... I'm out of... I was out of... A, I almost said key. Out of energy. So I couldn't... Da Am I dead? I'm dead! No! Oh my god. I already died. That was so good, too. I could have won that. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'll just see y'all when we move on to the next demon. So, yeah. 
All right, so now we're back in here with Yahaba, and I'm gonna be honest, this round and like this demon and the next demon are definitely gonna be quick because those are my worst two characters. I don't know how to play Yahaba like at all, and the next ones I think Susamaru. I know Susamaru a little bit more than Yahaba, but not not by much. Can I even heavy? I can. Okay. But yeah, I only know her like slightly more maybe than Yahaba. Not really like. A lot more so like as you can see i don't know what i'm doing with this dude but we're gonna still try our best um another thing that i wanted to mention is so you did you probably noticed with the akas around that there were still more of the match left yeah i only showed two of the rounds so the way that's basically gonna work and i think i've done it in previous videos i'm gonna show the rest of that set at the end of the video just so that way you know if people were curious of how that went down uh, I'm just going to put it at the end. So if you stay around to like, you know, after I'm doing the outro and stuff of the video and you wanted to see how that went, then I'm going to put it at the end. Just, you know, like I said, just for the people who were curious and wanted to see a little bit more. It's not going to have commentary or anything. It's just going to be the gameplay. But uh, yeah, but it's just going to be like uh, how the last few sets went. I'll just put them at the end. If it does end up being too long, I may make it a separate video because obviously I haven't edited that in as of this recording. So um uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but if it ends up being like super duper long, I'm probably just going to edit it into its own video, especially because like think about with a Yahaba. Okay, I'm dead already. Wow, that was a nice. Look. Well, um, I'll just see y'all with the next character and continue what I was saying. <laughs> but yeah, oh my gosh. Go crazy. Ah, 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 go stupid. Ah, go crazy. But anyways, guys, that was it for this episode of the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge. But to finish my point before we end the video off, as I was saying, so what that what I'm gonna do for that is if it ends up being too long, like let's say I have like a lot more footage for Akaza and Yahaba at the end, I might just make those it, their own videos. But if it is long enough, then uh, well, you can tell just by how much left, how much time is left in this video then they'll just be at the end of this one but we'll see so yeah but anyways guys that's gonna do it for this episode of the demon slayer nuzlocke challenge hope you guys enjoy we th this might be a really short video some of these videos are short but it's fine uh because don't worry if you're like if you know i've been getting clapped a lot in this nuzlocke challenge but don't worry this will be over soon and i have another series that surrounds demon slayer which should go better so stay tuned for that and yeah so but anyways thank y'all for watching hope y'all enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another upload and if you really really like this video make sure you share it around to your grandma your grandpa your manager your co-workers whoever you want to show it to and yeah until next time though i'll see you guys later and peace have a good day or night y'all <laughs>